Okay, in this question, we need to find the center and the radius. So what we are going to do in this question is we will use the idea of completing the square. So we will complete the square. Which is an idea you have seen it before, especially in calculus two when we did a partial fraction, we will do the same. And now let me remind you how we do the complete the square. What you need to do is you need to start first with the variable x, try to get x together. What do I mean by getting x together? I have x squared plus 8x. Now, this is the first thing I will start working with. Now, how do you complete the square? What you need to do is the following. You see this number here in front of x? You need to do two things. First of all, you need to divide it by two. Whatever you get, you will square it. So if we take eight and we divide it by two, that's four. If we square it, that's 16. So what you will do is you will add 16 and you will subtract 16. The idea of adding 16, subtracting 16, I don't change the equation. Add something subtract something, you get it the same. So I will not do anything unusual here. Now, what we should do after. Can you see those three terms here? The x squared, the x, and the number? This is will give you a complete square. What do I mean by complete square? You will open a bracket like this, square. And now, you will take the square root of the first one and the square root of the last one. And you will write them down. What is the square root of x squared? It's just x. What is the square root of 16? This is just 4. So you will get x. On the other side, you will get 4. Now, what should you add between them? You add the same sign as in the second term. So you use the first term, second term. This one will just go down as a plus. So this will take care of the first three terms. The last one, which is minus 16, you will just write it down here as negative 16. That take care of the first variable, which is x. What we need to do next, repeat the same thing for the y's, and then we repeat the same things for the z's. So let's go to the y's, and let's do the job again. Now for the y's, I have what? I have y squared negative 6y. What we are going to do with this one, we take this number, which is 6. I will divide it by 2. I will get 3. And then I will square it. So 6 divided by 2, 3. If you square it, you will write plus 9. And then you don't want to change the equation you will subtract 9 again. So plus 9, negative 9, I did nothing. And now the same thing, same scenario from the beginning to the end. The first three terms, you need to deal with them. They will give you a complete square. So this will be something square. What is inside this square? Again, y square, we take the square root, 9, we take the square root. So y squared, take the square root. This is y. And then the 9 will give me just 3. The sign between them it will just be negative. So I will keep negative. Of course, you have minus 9. You keep it as is. And that's the second term up here. Let me just write it down a little bit down here. Next, as we do everything again for disease. So you have z squared plus 2z. What we are going to do, I will take this number again. I will divide it by 2. I will get 1. I will square it. If you do that, you will get plus 1, negative 1. And now you do those three terms together. Plus. Here we have z 
plus one. Why it's z plus one? Because the square root of z square is z. Square root of one is one, I keep one. I put the plus because the sign in the middle is plus. Again, we have a negative one, and that will take care of all disease. Remember, in the original question, there is a number alone, which is 17, I keep it as is plus 17. Now, all what you need to do is keep the squares and take all the numbers to the other side. With your calculator, find the number and take it to the other, to the other side. What you are going to get is you will get x plus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared plus z plus 1 squared. And that's all should equal to, if you take everything to the other side, that will be 9. Now, I'm almost done. I can't find the radius. I can't find the center. What is the center? Those are the number after x, y, z. But just to be sure, it should be x minus something. And it should be y minus something. y is already minus 3, so that's a perfect form. Finally, z minus something, and that's equal to 9. How do I fill those numbers? 4, it would be what? Negative 4, because negative, negative, it's already plus. It just separate them. Same thing for plus 1. I can write it as negative, negative 1. And that directly will help me find what is the center. It is negative 4, 3, negative 1. What is the radius? The radius is the 9, but I take the square root which will be 3. Remember, this is just square root. And that's 